Well, good day to you all, my dear students. Today is 26th of March 2022. I wish you all have a nice day. And now let's get started. Today, inshallah, we will have writing. So our lesson today is writing. We are going to write. To write about what? Teacher. So be patient. And today, inshallah, we are going to have writing about a new topic. So get ready. At the very beginning, I have a question to you all my students. Write your answer in the chat box. And the question is, what would you like to be when you grow up and why? In the future, when you finish your study, what would you like to be? Write your answer in the chat box and write why would you like to be this? Okay, now I am waiting your answers here in the chat box. The question again, what would you like to be when you grow up and why? You will have only one minute and then I will check all your answers. Salim says minor. Why, Salim? You have to write why here in the chat box. Khalid Ahmed says, in the future, I want to be a doctor to save people's lives and keep them healthy. Excellent and perfect answer, Khalid. Saud says, I want to be an engineer. Perfect, Saud. But why would you like to be an engineer? All students, don't turn on your microphone and don't interrupt me while I am reading your answers. So I am waiting students here in the chat box. You feel free to write your answer. The question is again, what would you like to be when you grow up and why? I want more answers. Anna says, an engineer, I want to be an engineer because I want to help people build new things and discover new things. Bravo, Anas. Good answer. So students, when you answer such a question, you answer like this. When I grow up, I want to be, for example, a diplomat to represent my country in other countries. This person is working in the foreign affairs, so he is a diplomat. The diplomat dip represents his country in other countries. So in our lesson today, we are going to learn and identify some jobs. And at the end of our lesson today, we will have writing about your future job or your dream job. So now students, let's go over the objectives of our lesson today. By the end of our lesson today, students, you are going to write a paragraph about your dream job. So we have only got one objective. The objective is writing. Write about what? Your dream job. And now I will ask Sammy. Are you there, Sammy? Sammy, are you there? Uh, hello, teacher. Yes, teacher. Sam, Sammy, we have got only one objective in our lesson today, which is to write a paragraph about your dream job. Can you help us read the objective again? Okay, teacher. To so write on. a paragraph about your dream job. Good reading from a good student. Thank you, Sammy. Now, students, at the beginning, let's recognize and learn about 30 of most common jobs. Some of you know what is the name of his job that he would like to be in the future. He knows about it in Arabic, but he doesn't know what is the meaning of this job in English. So at the beginning, let's recognize, let's learn and know 30 of most common jobs. And I will ask Khalid Ahmed, your classmates to help me doing this. Are you there, Khalid Ahmed? Good morning, teacher. 
Good morning, Khalid. Khalid, I need your help in this part of the lesson. Khalid, we have 30 of common jobs that are frequently used in our life. Your job is to read the title or the name of the job, and my job is to read the definition of this job. Are you ready, Khalid? Yes, teacher. Let's start with job number one. Go ahead. Doctor. Doctor is someone whose job is to treat people who are ill or injured. Again, the doctor is someone whose job is to treat people who are ill or injured. This is the doctor. The doctor works in a hospital and always he wears a uniform, sometimes blue and sometimes white. So let's go to the next one, Khalid. Dentist. Dentist is someone whose job is to examine and treat people's teeth, only the teeth, okay? Dentist is not a normal doctor. He is a doctor, but he is not a regular or normal doctor that we know. Doc uh, the dentist is a special doctor who treats or examine people's teeth. Three. Ophthalmologist. 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 Yeah, ophthalmologist is a doctor who is an expert who is a very good doctor in illnesses of the eye, only the illnesses of the eye, and who can perform or do operations on people's eyes. So if you have got an eye infection, you will not go to the doctor, you will go to the ophthalmologist. Thank you, Khalid. And then now let's go to number four. Khalid? Surgeon. Surgeon is a doctor who is trained to perform or do operations that involve the cutting to open someone's body, usually in a hospital. If you have got an operation and this operation is, needs to be done, you have to go to the surgeon, not to the doctor. Five. Nurse. Nurse is someone who is trained to help doctors and look after ill or injured people, usually in a hospital. The nurse may be male, I mean with male, a man, or maybe a female, like a girl or a woman, okay? Khalid? Vet. Vet is a doctor of animals. For example, we have got our classmate Salim. Salim likes cats. He has got a lot of cats. If Salim's cat is ill, so Salim will take his cat to the vet, not to the doctor. The vet is a doctor of animals. Teacher. Teacher like me is someone whose job is to teach students and help them learn always at schools and in our days we teach students online. So the teacher is someone who helps people or students to learn. Firefighter. Firefighter is someone whose job is to make fires stop to make fires stop burning, to put out fires, and help people to escape from other dangerous situations. Police officer. Police officer is a member of the police. You can also talk about a policeman or a police woman, but generally we, we, uh, we name the man who works in the police station a police officer for uh, men or women. You can say a policeman, you can say a police woman, but in general, you can say a police officer. Soldier. Soldier is someone who is a member of an army. You defend your country if you are a soldier. Okay, soldiers or the soldier job is one of the most important jobs ever. Engineer. Engineer is someone who designs or builds things, such as roads, railways, bridges, or machines. Businessman. 
Businessman is a man who works in business and financial matters. He deals with money, especially a manager. OK, if you are a businessman, you have got a company, you, uh, you run your own work or job. Farmer. Farmer is someone who owns a farm or grows crops in his field. Postman. Postman is someone whose job is to collect and deliver the post. If you are waiting a letter from your friend who is living abroad or in another country, who will bring the letter? The postman will bring the letter to you. Fisherman. Fisherman is a man who catches fish for fun or as his job. Butcher. Yeah, butcher is someone whose job is to sell meat and sometimes also to kill animals for meat. The shop, the shop they work in is called a butcher's or a butcher's shop. On Friday or on Saturday, sometimes you go to the market to buy meat. You will buy meat from the butcher or at the butcher's. Baker. Baker. Baker is someone whose job is to make bread like this, to make bread, cakes, etc. A shop that sells bread and the cakes is usually called a baker's. Pilot. Pilot is someone who's, who flies a plane, who flies a plane. If I am traveling to Egypt, I will take the plane or, or travel by plane. The one who drives the plane is called pilot. Taxi driver. Taxi driver is someone whose job is to drive a taxi for a living. Artist. Artist is someone who makes paintings. Look here, this girl is painting. She is painting a painting. So who makes a paintings is called in English an artist or someone who writes, makes films or writes music with great skill. If you are excellent in writing articles or writing films or writing music, so you are an artist. Chef. Chef is someone who cooks. Cooks food in a restaurant as their job. So my mom cooks at home. No, she is not a chef. She is a housewife. But if you cook, uh, sorry, if you make food in a restaurant, this is a job. So if you are working in a restaurant, you are called in English a chef. Plumber. Plumber, yeah. Plumber is someone whose job is to fit and repair pipes. These are pipes. If you have got a corrupted pipes at home, you will call the plumber to come and fix these pipes. Someone whose job is to fit and repair pipes is called a plumber or even water tanks and the other equipment used for supplying and storing water. Electrician. Yeah, electrician is someone whose job is to, to repair or fit electrical equipment. Scientist. Scientist. Bravo Khalid. Scientist is someone who is trained in science, who knows a lot about science, especially someone whose job is to do scientific research. Salesman. Salesman is a person or a man whose job is to help customers and sell things in a shop. When you go to any shop, you find a salesman or a sales lady, a saleswoman uh, who help you to find the correct thing or the correct item you would like to buy. So the salesman is a man whose job is to help you or help customers and sell things in a shop. Carpenter. 
Carpenter is someone whose job is to make things from wood. Look here, this is the carpenter. He makes things out of wood or to repair things that are made of wood. Lawyer. This is the lawyer and this is the judge. Who is the lawyer? The lawyer is someone whose profession or whose job is to provide people with legal advice and services. If you have got a problem, instead of going to the police station, you can call the lawyer who will come and represent you before the judge. So, and you know what about the judge? This is the judge. The judge is someone whose job is to make decisions in a court of law. This building or this room is called court. So this is the lawyer who speaks in behalf of some people and this is the judge who takes decisions and they are working in the court. Waiter, waitress. Yeah, waiter is a male person who is working in a restaurant and the waitress is a female person who works in a restaurant. The waiter is a man or boy who brings food and a drink to your table in a restaurant or cafe. So what about the waitress? The waitress is a woman. The waiter is a man or a boy. On the other hand, the waitress is a woman or girl who brings food and a drink to your table in a restaurant or a cafe. Uh, generally speaking, in English students, there is no difference between the male and the female jobs. For example, when I am speaking about a carpenter, a nurse, a teacher, a doctor, and any job in English, when I say a carpenter, I mean maybe a man, maybe a woman. But here are some jobs that have got different meaning, like lawyer and the judge. And here we have to add E double S at the end of the word to speak about the female waiter is for a man or a boy and the waiter is for a woman or a girl also we have got the, uh, these two words tailor and the tailoress tailor is for a man or a boy and the tailoress is for a woman or a girl tailor is a man who makes clothes for men look here a man and the tailoress is a woman who makes clothes for women what is the difference? Here we have got the word tailor and you have to add E double S at the end to speak about a woman or a girl. OK, the last one, Khalid. Actor, actors. Actress, actor. And Actor. actress. Yeah, when you speak about people, you can say actor, but when you talk about a specific person, for example, if you are talking about a man, you have to use the word actor. And if you are speaking about a woman, you have to use the word actress. Look here, students, we have got three of the most important and the famous ac actors here in Bahrain. OK, they are they were the heroes of the series The Fash. Look here. Actor is a man who performs in plays and films, especially as their job. And the actress is a woman who performs in plays and films, especially as their job. OK, okay now teacher. students. Sorry, Ahmed. Teacher, I wrote in the chat, is it right? Is it correct? Yeah, uh, Ahmed says, when I grow up, I want to be a firefighter to save people when their house are on fire. Excellent. Look here, students, Ahmed used the expression on fire. That means the house caught fire or on fire or an English teacher to help students learn English. But the most job that I want is a teacher. Thank you, Ahmed, and a good answer. Actually, excellent answer. And thank you, Muhammad Ali Eid, for your for your answer here, Mohami and Kadi, bravo. Students here, we have got a live worksheet about what teacher, about jobs. All the students get ready and you can turn on your microphone to help me do this activity, but only on one condition. Don't turn on your microphone unless you are sitting in a quiet place and you have to connect 
the cable or the cord or your microphone to your mobile or laptop. So students get ready. You are going to choose the correct option in each case. Let's start with number one. I will give you an example. What does he do? What does he or she do? She is a singer, a doctor, or a farmer. She is farmer. Yeah. Farmer. 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 Bravo. Now let's go to number two and the students. This activity has got 15 questions. Let's do it in three minutes. Let's take it as an, a challenge. Number two. What does she do? She is a pilot. 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 Number three. What does he do? Fireman. 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 Four. Fireman. What does doctor. he do? Doctor. 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 Excellent. Five. What does he do? Postman. 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 Bra bravo. Six. What does he do? Baker. 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 Yeah. Baker. The, ba the baker works in or at the bakers. Seven. What does he do? Fisherman. Good. Eight. What Police does man. he do? Policeman. Policeman. Nine. Look at vet. this poor vet. dog. Vet. Is a vet. vet. What does she do? Cook. 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 Cook or chef. Yeah, cook or chef. Number 11. What does she do? Teacher. 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 Bravo. Teacher. And the 12. What does he do? Clown. Clown. Yeah. Clown is a person or a man who works in a circus. 13. What does she do? Artist. Artist. 14. What does she do? Dancer. 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 She is a dancer. Bravo. 15. What does he do? Butcher. 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 Yeah. Yeah. The baker, look here. The baker works in or at the baker's. Add apostrophe S at the end. And the butcher works in the butcher. The cook or the chef works uh, in a restaurant. If you would like to eat mandy, rosy, majboos, you will go to the restaurant. Who makes the food in the restaurant? The cook or the chef? Cook or chef are the same words. But if you would like to buy some bread, you will go to the bakers. The baker works in or at the bakers. Big difference between baker who makes bread and the chef or cook who makes food. Okay. Anyway, Teacher. yes. The butcher, the T is silent or uh, no? Yeah, here you pronounce only the sound of CH, ch, ch sound. Butcher, not butcher, butcher. Butcher. Okay. So the sound, the sounds that comes in your mouth is from the CH. Okay. Okay, now students, let's go to the next part in our lesson today, which is reading. It's time for reading. Now students will read about a job. Look here students, we have got two jobs, a firefighter and a doctor. We will read about a job. We will take the firefighter as an example and then you will do the same with the job doctor. Let's start with the firefighter. Read and learn about the job. The job title, which is the name of the job. The job title here is the firefighter. Then we will talk about, we'll speak about the place of doing the job. The firefighter works where? He works in a fire station and his role in his workplace what does the firefighter do? What he is doing every day? If you are a firefighter, what will you do every day? And at the end, the clothes he always puts on or wear in his work. So, 
All students listen carefully and follow me on your screen because you are going to write the same here about the doctor. The firefighter is a person who works where? He works in a fire station. What is his role in his workplace? If there is a fire, they drive quickly to the fire on the fire engine to put it out, to put the fire out. So what about the clothes the firefighters always wear or put on in their workplace? They wear a special uniform, which is bright yellow, to help people see them easily and protect them from fires. So students, now we learned about the firefighter. What about the doctor? Now students get ready because you have to write in the chat box about the place the doctors work in the place they do their work in. What is the place the doctors work or go to work the, the, it every day? Right in the chat can box. Can I say something? Yes, what is it? Teacher, uh, doctor, is, uh, help any one sick. This is the role of the doctor. But now I am asking about the place that doctors work in. The doctors work where? What is the name of the building they work in? They work in what? Hospital. Bravo, Khalid Ahmed, Hussein Jawad also. Bravo, students. So, number one, a doctor works in a hospital. What about his role? Teacher, what, I, what is the meaning of role? What does he do? What is he doing in, in the hospital? What describe exactly what he is doing? The firefighter drives it quickly to reach the, to the place, to reach to the fire on the fire engine to put it out. So what about the doctor? What does he do? What is the role of the doctor in a hospital? Takes care of, of what? Right in the chat box. Students right here, yeah, to help to take care of sick people. Bravo, Khalid. Salim says to save life. Bravo, Salim. Sami says help sick people, not sex. Help sick people. Bravo, Sami. So the answer is to take care of sick people. While we are having our lesson, I am listening. I can catch the sound of the ambulance. The ambulance driver or the rescue team is going to help people, maybe on the road, maybe maybe at homes. So, so this is a very important job that you can be in the future. So what is the last one? What about the clothes that doctors wear or put on in hospitals? They wear a special uniform. Can you describe the special, un the special uniform that doctors wear? You can write here in the chat box. Long white coat, excellent Khalid Ahmed, bravo, long white coat. So this is a correct sentence and which is a long white coat, bravo Khalid. So students, now we had two examples about the firefighter and the doctor. The firefighters works in a fire station and if there is a fire, they drive quickly to the fire on the fire engine to put it out to make fire stops. And they wear a special uniform, which is bright yellow, to help people see them easily and protect them from fires. And the doctor works in a hospital and he takes care of sick people. And the doctor wears a special uniform, which is a long white coat. So students, now we have a communication skills. What is communication skills? Simply, it's a dialogue between two people. And then our students get ready because I will ask two of you to help me do this. I will ask uh, Ahmed and Khalid Nawaf. Ahmed Mohammed and Khalid Nawaf. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. So students, get ready. You are going to listen to Ahmed Mohammed and Khalid Nawaf. Good morning, Ahmed, and good morning, Khalid. Good morning, teacher. Here, Khalid and Ahmed, you are going to have a dialogue. 
to practice the communication together. So I will not help you unless you finish. OK, now feel free, Ahmed and Khalid, to do the dialogue together. Now, are you ready to? I'm green and he's blue like this. Yeah, you can start Ahmed and then Khalid can answer. OK. Yes, you do. OK, Ahmed, yes, you can yes. start. What do you do or what is your job? I am a police officer. Where do you work? I work in the police station in emergency. We go out to help to help. What do you do every day? I, al I always go to work early. I work shifts. I work for 12 hours a, a day. What do you do? I wear unif a uniform. Wait, Khalid. What do you wear again, Ahmed? Yes, teacher. What, what do you wear? What do you wear? I wear a uniform. Do you like your job? Why? Sure, I like my job because I help people and my community. Fantastic. Good reading, Ahmed, and good reading, Khalid. I feel that I am in the dialogue. So students here, you have just listened to Ahmed and Khalid. They are having a conversation together about the job or his job. OK, when you ask somebody else about his job, you can ask, what do you do? What is your job? But generally use what do you do when you ask about his job? But don't say what are you doing? What are you doing? It means what are you doing now? I am studying. I am watching a TV. I am going to bed. Huh? What are you doing is not like what do you do. What do you do means what is your job? And then you can use I am and then the name or the title of your job. What do you do? I am a police officer. If you are asking about the place of doing his job, use where do you work? I work in the police station, I work in a hospital and so many places. So if you ask about the routine of his job or the role of his, uh, the role of the, of the job, you can ask using what do you do every day? I always go to work early. I can help sick people about that depending on the job itself. If you are asking about the clothes that is necessary to do the job, you can use this question. What do you wear? I wear a uniform. I wear a classic cloth. Uh, I, I wear a formal cloth, a formal suit. OK, so the last you can ask about if he likes his job or not. Do you like your job? And why? So I will have the conversation again. I will choose only one of you to help me do the, the conversation. I will ask. Anas is raising his hand already. Are you there, Anas? Yes, teacher, I am here. Good morning, Anas. Good morning. Let's have this conversation together, Anas. I will start. Anas, what do you do or what is your job? I am a police officer. Where do you work? I work in the police station. In emergency, we go out to help. So what do you do every day? I always go to work early. I work shifts. I work for 12 hours a day. What about the clothes you wear? What do you wear? I wear a uniform. Do you like your job, Anas? Sure, I like my job because Why? I help people in my community. Yeah, because the police officers help their community. Bravo, Anas, and thanks for good reading. So now, students, let's go to the next part, which is a practice on reading. OK, now, students, I am going to read this paragraph. This paragraph is about Miss Amanda. At the beginning, I will read the four parts of the paragraph and use 
students get ready to match between the point here to the correct part of the paragraph. We have here four points. Point number one about cloth, number two about role of the job, number three about the place, and the last one is the job title. A, cloth, B, role, C, place, D is about the job title. Here the paragraph is divided into four parts. Each part of these parts has a connection to one of these points. Get ready students because I am going to read and you get ready to match between the part of the paragraph to the point, but we will check the answers at the end after I finish reading. So get ready. One, Amanda Smith, who is a teacher, loves teaching. We asked Amanda about her job. Where do you work, Amanda? I work at a primary school. I teach English to grades five and six. The school is big and has 12 classes. It is close to where I live. Close here means near to or next to her house. What do you do each day? We have to start our day with the morning assembly. Usually we have lots of activities and fun games each morning. Then we start our first lesson around 8 a.m. We have six periods or lessons every day. My job is to teach English and take care of the students. What do you wear, Amanda? We do not wear any special uniform. We are free to wear anything that is good according to the uh, community rules. So, students, let's start with one. Now we check your answers. The point A, which is cloth. Cloth will go to which part? Part number one, part number two, part number three or part number four. Now students, you can turn on your microphones and they help me connect or match between the point above and in the part of the paragraph. All students, you can turn on your microphones and tell me your answers. The word or the point clothe will go to part num uh, number what here in the paragraph. Teacher, I want to go in the bathroom. Okay, you can. Students. Yes, teacher. Number A four. A will four, go. Four. A will go to number four. Let's check this. Yes, this is the correct answer. Here in part number four, students, the question is, what do you wear? So we are asking about the clothes that Amanda puts on in her work. Clothes, we do not wear in a special uniform. What about point B, the role of her, uh, the role she does in her job? A three. Three, let's check this. Yes, this is the correct answer. Amanda works as a teacher. So, so what is her role at school? She says we have to start our day with the morning assembly. assembly. Usually we have lots of activities and the fun games each morning. Then we start our first lesson around 8 a.m. We have six periods every day. My job is to teach English and to take care of the students. Bravo. Let's go to point C, which is the place. The, the place Amanda is working in is? C2. Yeah. The question is, where do you work, Amanda? Look here, where do you work? We are asking about the place of her work. She is working in a primary school, so the point the place will go to number two. Bravo. And the last one is the title of her job or the job title will go to number one. One, bravo. One. The job title means the name of her job. If you are a doctor, so your title will be a doctor. If you are a carpenter, your title will be a carpenter. And there's so many jobs we had today at the beginning of our lesson. Now, students, get ready. We are going to have the last part in our lesson today, which is, imagine that you are a doctor in the future, one of you or some of you will be a doctor. 
So let's imagine this. You are a doctor who helps people. A magazine wants to ask you some questions. And here already we have got three questions. Write your answers using the present simple tense. Teacher, present simple. Why present simple? Because this is a routine. This is a fact. When you are talking or speaking about your job, you are talking about a fact. This is a routine. For example, I am a teacher. I don't say uh, I am teaching or I am playing because here I am talking to you about a fact, about a routine. So you have to use the present simple tense, which is the verb without S or AS if the subject is I, we, you, and they, and you have to add S to the end of the verb if the subject is he, she, or it. Now students get ready to answer these three questions. When you finish answering these questions, look here, you will have a complete paragraph about a job. So now students, let's say start with question number one. Where do you work? All students now get ready to write your answers in the chat box. But try to be elaborate, to write more about the place you are working in. Write the, about, for example, the hospital is near my house. I have to drive to, my, to the hospital where I work. Try to write more about the place you work. So students write in the chat box and answer the question, where do you work? Students, I am waiting. Imagine that you are a doctor and I ask you, where do you work? What is your answer? Students, I am waiting. You have to write. No time to waste. I don't have much time. Uh, no, Anas, I am asking about the place, not about the job. Where? Not what. Where do you work? I am a teacher and I work at school. I work in a school. I work in Arad school. Ahmed says I work at the hospital or in a hospital. So I not Hamza, I'm not asking about the role of your job, only about the place. Let's answer question number one first. So Ahmed's answer is correct. I work at the hospital. I work in a hospital. Bravo, Ahmed. Khalid Ahmed says, my name is Khalid and I am a doctor. I work in King Hamad Hospital and I every day not. Uh, okay, for uh, till here is enough for question number one. My name is Khalid and I am a doctor. I work in King Hamad Hospital or Salmania Hospital. Bravo, Khalid. Khalid Nawaf says, I work at the hospital. Bravo. On the my Salim again, he would like to be a miner in the future and he, uh, and he works on the in the mines. Okay, Salim. So, students, let's go to that question, which is number two. Let's go to question number two. What do you do every day? You are a doctor, you work in a hospital. So can you describe us what is your role in a hospital? What do you do everywhere when you go to the hospital? Write in the chat box. What do you do every day? Anas Muhammad says, I help sick people and they make them better. Bravo, Anas. Good answer. Khalid Nawaf says, I help people, but not any people. Khalid, you have to say, I help ill people or sick people. Bravo, Khalid. In a way, Salim says, I'll find some diamonds. Bravo, Salim. Sijar, what should I write again?
Do you write Ahmad is what do you do each day? You are a doctor, you work in a hospital. So in a hospital and as a doctor, what do you do each day or every day? Describe your job or your role as a doctor in the hospital. Salim, remember that we are talking about a doctor, not a minor. OK. Bravo, Khalid Nawaf. Khalid says I help sick people. Bravo, thanks. So <clears throat> what about question number three? What do you wear? You are a doctor. You work in a hospital and you help sick people. OK, so what do you wear? Describe the clothes that you wear in your workplace. Ahmad Muhammad, let's start with Anas. Anas Muhammad says, I wear a blue coat over my clothes. Bravo. This is Ahmad. Let's start with Anas. He was the first. Anas Muhammad says, I wear a blue robe or white robe. Bravo. Excellent, Anas. Ahmad says, I wear a white coat over my clothes. Bravo. Khalid Ahmad says, I wear a white coat over my clothes and I love my uniform. Yeah, this is a complete answer. Actually, the white or blue robe is called a uniform, the doctor's uniform. Bravo. Khalid, Khalid Nawaf says, long and white coat. Bravo. Thanks, students. Thanks for Anas, Ahmad, Khalid, and Khalid for all the students who participated answering this question and here students i have got a model answer at the beginning students i will read and then i will ask one of you to read to be fair i will lower all hands here okay and the first one will read the time I finish, this is Ahmad Muhammad. Ahmad Muhammad, I will read at the beginning and then get ready to read the paragraph again, okay? About the doctor's lifestyle or a doctor's job, okay? Okay, teacher. So, students again, you are a doctor who helps people. And here we have got a dialogue. It's a magazine wants to ask you the questions below. Write your answers using the present simple tense, and here is the answer. Sam Johnson, who is a doctor, loves helping people. We asked Sam about his job. Where do you work? I work at a hospital. Most of the people at the hospital are either, you can say either, are either doctors or nurses. The hospital, which is an hour away from my house, is very big. What do you do each day? We are we ask Sam. We wait for sick people to come to the hospital. Usually we treat them, give medicine and they go home. Some of them need special care, so they stay at the hospital. What do you wear? We wear a special uniform. The uniform, which is a long white coat, helps keep patients safe. Patients means ill people. I will ask Sami to help Ahmed. Sami will read the question and Ahmed will be the doctor who answers the questions. Sami, are you there? Yes, teacher. Sami, you will be the one who asked the questions. You will ask Ahmed, our doctor, these three questions and Ahmed get ready to read the answers. Are you ready, Sami? Are you ready, Ahmed? Yes, teacher. So, I will read the introduction again. Sam Johnson, who is a doctor, loves helping people, who asked Sam about his job. Sammy, get start. Start with question number one. Where do you work? I work at a hospital. Most of the people at the hospital are either doctors or nurses. The hospital, which is an hour away, from my house is very big is very big what do you do each day we wait for sick people to come to the hospital usually we treat them give medical and medicine medicine give medicine and they 
go home. Some of them need special care, so they stay at the hospital. What do you wear? We wear a special uniform. The uniform, the uniform which is a long white coat, helps keep pain. Patients pay safe. Keep patients safe. Patients keep here patients means safe. sick people. Yeah. Bravo, Ahmed, and bravo, Sami, and a good reading for both of you. So, students, this is the end of our lesson today. But before I say goodbye, I want you in the chat box write about write about your future job. What you what would you like to be in the future and why? Now you learned about 30 jobs. If you couldn't write about your future job, you can write about as many jobs as you can. Do you remember that we have at the beginning of the lesson? We had 30 of different jobs, the most common jobs. Now, students, I will scroll again to show you of the uh, jobs again and you try to catch 10 of these jobs to write in the chat box. So students get ready. This is a challenge. Write as many words or as many jobs as you can in the chat box. Doctor. Dentist. Ophthalmologist. Surgeon. Nurse. Vet. Teacher. Firefighter. Police officer, soldier, engineer, businessman, farmer, postman, fisherman, butcher, baker, pilot, taxi driver, artist, chef, plumber, electrician, Scientist, salesman, carpenter, lawyer, judge, waiter, waitress, tailor, tailoress, actor, and actress. So students here, yes. Okay, inshallah. But at the beginning, students, at the beginning, I would like you all to write here in the chat box as many jobs as you can that you have watched and are listened today. Let's start. Yeah, we have already got Hussein Jawad says doctor, nurse, teacher, firefighter. Okay, Hussein, are you there? Can you help us read your answer? Hussein Jawad, feel free to turn on your microphone. It will be nice to listen to your voice. Anyway, Hussein says doctor, nurse, teacher, firefighter, police officer, butcher, pilot, taxi driver, plumber, judge, lawyer, waiter, waitress, tailor, actor, and actress. Bravo, Hussein. Not only Hussein, I asked to write here in the chat box. I asked all the students to write in the chat box as many jobs as they can. I want one more. So Hussein Jawad is the king and here we have got another king, Khalid Nawaf says, fisherman, chef, waitress, actor, waiter, police officer, and taxi driver. With this, students, we reach the end of our lesson today, and this is the end of the lesson. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Have a nice day and goodbye. In